Hey guys, it's been a very long time since I made a video, so I figure it's about high time. Um, been working a lot on the business and graveyard shift and all that stuff. So, it's just a really quick kind of update as to what's going on. It's a whole line of carts here. It's a couple missing, but I just made a trade with Nick and Kenny down in Sacramento. So, uh, gonna show you what I got here. An old go kart I used to have. Really nice condition. Uh, you guys might remember some of my other videos when I lived in Santa Clarita. I had three of these. Uh, don't remember what I did with the other two, but here's uh, the one Kenny kindly traded back. It's in pretty good shape. It's really kick ass IPL. Classic art. It was a document card at some point. Really nice thick bar. I bet these lasted forever. But, uh,. Probably won't work on any of my trucks. The bar is way too narrow. This super clean BFI auto, or toter, pardon me. It's in super good condition. Everybody knows I love blue, so that's pretty cool. Thumbs up cart. Little 20 gallon thing. Working on getting some parts for that, hopefully. And then, uh, well, here's what remains, anyhow, of a rooter. Uh, had it stacked in the truck, and it managed to just kind of slip out from under the strap there on the freeway. And uh, flew out in about six lanes of traffic. And when I stopped, totally expecting people to come and uh, complain about damage to their vehicles or anything. No one ever stopped, but, uh, yeah, the cart got bounced around about 25 times. I don't even remember if I saw where it landed. So that's kind of all I got of that my first loss of a really cool cart pretty much ever that kind of sucked but what can you do I guess then uh, down over there is where my collection is now I'm living up here at uh, at work uh, renting an apartment for my boss is kind of interesting here's where we dump all of our sweepers that's about due to be hauled out of here I think and uh, so yeah there's some carts and then, I don't know if anyone has seen this yet or not, bought this guy a little while ago. It's a very old Wayne. Let's see here, the ID tag was produced February 23rd in 1970. Yeah, it's not the original chassis, this is a 1976 Ford. Kind of an interesting backstory here. Uh, supposedly the guy we bought it from was the third owner. He used to belong to a reservation out in eastern Oregon. And uh, the guy that drove it for the reservation got really drunk one night. And uh, supposedly drove so far out in the wilderness and crashed it that nobody could ever find it. So it took about six years. And then uh, a gentleman out in Bend, Oregon bought it for his chain of grocery stores. And used it for quite a few years doing that. And then... Uh, I bought it from a gentleman that had a landscaping company was just using it to haul his own garbage to save on his garbage bill. And now we have it. It's a pretty interesting lift system there. It's pretty cold today. Let's see if it'll start. I'll show you how it works. This one's getting pretty close to dead, so this will be just a quick demo. Here's a bit chilly. PTO on, clutch in, pull out on that. Sometimes it doesn't quite catch. There it is, you can hear it. Someone definitely did wreck this thing at some point because the box is all messed up. Doors are all cattywampus there. Alright, phone you should fight. I'll just give you a quick pack cycle, share the weird little single arm thing it's got. Pretty neat. Goes all the way in the back. Bring it back a little early there. And the lift here.
comes straight up. I think it pokes out the top there. This little roller. See there's little grooves here. Into there. Then uh, when I'm driving long distance between stomps, you just kind of kick that in and bring it up. That way I get better side clearance and it doesn't risk falling over if there's a bump or something. So, uh, yeah, 1970 Wayne. It's got some really old school tailgate latches there. Grab this handle here and that opens them up. You just open the tailgate and the blade pushes everything out. Kind of a pain to get back. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna try and make another one soon when my battery isn't dying and all that good stuff. Also, kind of a side note, please pardon the blurry camera. I dropped my phone here like six months ago and it busted out the camera lens and all kinds of dust is in the camera. So I hope I'll have that fixed soon. So thanks for watching.